It's back. I'm excited to share with everyone. As of yesterday morning, Facebook on your business page allows you now to make posts on the Facebook marketplace. You see, this is something that's been around for many years, but in 2021, they took that ability away from us. Where from Facebook on the uh, desktop, you can only make posts from your personal page. And that's a no-no for realtors and investors out there putting houses up there. So in this video, I'm gonna share how to do that. Uh, very quickly, I'll make a post for you to show how that works. But more importantly, I'm gonna show in this video how to automate the responses coming in from the marketplace so you don't have to manually message everybody that inquires about that house. What we're gonna do is hook up the chatbot to the marketplace so that all those inquiries, the chatbot's gonna to go to work for you in collecting those buyer leads and delivering them to your phone so you could follow up. How does that sound? Let's dive into Facebook and let me show you how easy it is to make a Facebook post and then I'll jump into ManyChat and show you the connection to the chatbot. Let's go. All right, to access uh, the marketplace from Facebook, you literally come into your Facebook account on the left-hand side is the marketplace uh, menu option. Uh, to create a new listing, you say new listing and over here as a realtor, you're gonna pick houses for sale or rent. So I'll go and click this. Now, what has changed as of yesterday that you know was taken away from us in 2021 is this very top section where it says John Smart, that was a read-only section, meaning I could only post from my personal page. Now I can go in and select a business page in the dropdown, uh, so I'm now posting this as a realtor from my real estate business page. This is critically important because later on I'm going to show how to connect the chatbot to this. So uh, in order to connect your chatbot, that has to be on a business page, not personal. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my photograph. So I'll grab each of the photos here. And uh, you could upload about up to, up to 50 photographs. Um, you could also uh, reorganize them. So if I want the kitchen first and then the house picture and so forth, I can make those uh, changes. Uh, down here, I'm gonna pick, uh, is the house for sale or rent? I'm gonna do a rent to own type ad. Uh, for a house, this is new construction, and I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, two and a half baths, you know, three beds, and the uh, rental price per month um, down here. Then I'm going to identify the address. So in the address, I'll, I'll go ahead and put uh, where this house is located. And one of the tricks that I, I, I tell you is you don't want to necessarily put uh, the real, ad or I mean, the physical address, I like to put it in a city. Um, so everybody in that territory is going to see this house. Um, I don't want them to do an end around with me and go see this model home without me. Uh, I want them to be able to come to me and uh, interact. Uh, then I'm going to go and put in my description. Now, the beauty of having it on the desktop is you could copy and paste it. So I have this description saved and uh, I'm talking about the details of this of this listing. And the only thing I need to do is $24.50. Uh, per month, change the rent. It is in Chester uh, County. And then I'll come down. Down here, I'll put the square footage. So the, the, the square footage of this property uh, was uh, 2,015 square feet. And with this rent to own, I like to make it a month out. And then I'm going to say it has in-unit in laundry, garage parking, central air. Uh, we're going to say central heating, pet friendly and uh, down here. Uh, and then I hit next. Uh, then uh, I could identify where it's located uh, and I'll hit next. So at this point, I could post it to my marketplace. Now, one of the other things, and this is a new account that I have for me, but for this particular business page, I suggest that the, from your business page, you join other Facebook groups in your marketplace. So if there's a house for sale marketplaces and uh, places for rent, Go ahead and join them as a business page. So then when you're making your posts here, you'll see those other pages and you could post to all of them. And all you're gonna do is hit publish. So now this uh, particular property is gonna be published and uh, it's gonna go into an approval process with Facebook and it should go live in a few minutes. Now let me hop over to uh, my uh, mini chat and I'll show you how easy it is to set up the chat bot to that post. So over here on the mini chat account, it's very easy to connect your chatbot to those responses that are coming in from the marketplace. This is gonna be a huge time saver for you. Uh, typically when I put a house on the marketplace, I may get 100, 200 responses. Is this property available through Messenger? Uh, and without a chatbot, you're gonna to have to manually respond to each and every one of these people. With the chatbot, you can set up a flow to automatically respond to them and take them anywhere you want in your chatbot marketing. So let me show you how this is set up. 
what we're going to use in, in the many chat side, you're going to come to automations and at the very top, you're going to come to keywords. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a series of keywords in many chat so that on messenger, uh, if any of those keywords are found, the chatbot can wake up and start a conversation. Now, what I like to do for the marketplace is use the word available, Facebook, marketplace, and interested. And the other trick here is you want to also make sure you use message contains because oftentimes somebody may message you, uh, is this property available for me to see? Or I'm interested in seeing this property. So as they start typing those messages or simply uh, in Facebook being stamped on your page or marketplace, this bot will wake up. Uh, so over in here, when it first comes in, this is the flow that I have going in. And uh, basically the first message is yes, this property is available. The home is part of our rent to own uh, program. We have hundreds of homes available to rent in my area. Uh, and then I take them into the rent to own conversation. So as you can see, it's super easy. You could have the response in anything you want, um, any kind of message you want based on what you're putting on the marketplace. And then as those people are interacting and they're, they're messaging you these words, uh, the bot will wake up and start these conversations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a great way on the marketplace to get free buyer leads, uh, or in my case, rent to own leads. Uh, watch the bot work its magic, explaining the program, getting emails and phone numbers through chat marketing, and delivering those leads to my phone. I hope you like this video. Give me some thumbs up to share this to other realtors uh, with a like. And if you haven't, consider subscribing. Enjoy.